From this video, you will learn how to fill Adobe PDF forms using Power Automate and PlumSale documents. Using this approach, you can populate PDF forms with data from any app, sign them, send them by email, or store them back in your systems. In our case, we have a SharePoint list where we record potential employees. Once a new employee is added to the list, we need to populate this data into the PDF application and send it to the recruiter for further consideration. First, we will show you a simple example of creating a PDF form from a blank page using Adobe Acrobat Pro. You can use any document to set up the PDF form based on it. Add a text to indicate a field title on a PDF form. Next, click the Prepare the Form button in the menu. For the first time, Adobe Acrobat requires us to save a document. Then add a field. Here we specify the field's name. The field's name will be used in PlumSale documents and Power Automate Flow. There are different types of fields, such as checkboxes, radio buttons, lists, image fields, and others. Additionally, you can set the properties for all types of fields. We have prepared such an employment application form. The link to download it is in the video description. After preparing the PDF form, we will set up the document generation process in PlumSale documents. If you're new to PlumSale documents, go to plumsale.com slash documents to register an account. Click the Try Now button. Fill out the registration form and verify your account. You'll get a 30-day free trial to try full-featured document automation. No credit card is required. After signing in, choose Documents and add a new process. Then select the Start from Blank option, choose Fillable PDF, and name the process. Next, upload the PDF form. Click the Next button to go to Manage the Document Template. Tokens correspond to the field names of our PDF form. Later, we will map them with the user data to fill out the form. Here, we can test the form with some dummy data. Click the Test Template button, fill in the form, and preview the document. Next, go to Set the Document Output Parameters. First, we will disable testing mode to remove a PlumSale watermark from the resulting file and name the output file. We use tokens to make the file name dynamic. Thus, our custom data will apply to it each time. Here you can choose a locale and protect PDF by watermarking, disabling printing, modification, data extraction, and annotations. Also, there is an option, Lock Form Fields. It's activated by default, and you'll receive a flattened PDF as a result. If you want to edit fields in the result PDF file, click on Advanced Settings and disable the option. Next, go to Configure Storage and Delivery Settings. Here you can see the native integrations. Later, you can use Power Automate or Zapier to deliver documents to any system if you didn't find your favorite app in the list of native integrations. In our case, we will store the resulting documents in the SharePoint library. To connect to our SharePoint library, we paste the link to the library and click the Connect button. Then, we choose the library where to store filled PDF forms. The last thing to do is to start our process to fill PDF forms. We'll do it from Power Automate. You can create a flow from the template. We'll do it from scratch to show all the details. Open PowerAutomate.Microsoft.com and sign in or create an account if you don't have one. First, create a new automated flow and select the trigger. We use the trigger when an item is created from SharePoint. This trigger will run each time when a new row is added to our SharePoint list. You can use any trigger related to your systems, for example, Google Sheets or Microsoft OneDrive. 
Then, we choose the site address and list name in the trigger. After that, we set up an action to perform after the trigger. Find PlumSale Documents and select the Start Document Generation Process action from the PlumSale Documents connector. If you use the PlumSale Documents action for the first time, you'll be asked for connection name and access key. Enter a connection name. To create an API key, we go back to the PlumSale account. In the API key section of the PlumSale account, add a new API key. Copy it. Then paste it into the Power Automate flow and create the connection. Next, select the process created before in PlumSale documents from the dropdown. Use the JSON format to specify the template data. We map PDF form fields with the outputs from the SharePoint trigger. To do it fast and correctly, copy the JSON object from the last step of the PlumSale documents process and paste it into the template data. Then replace the dummy data with the dynamic output from the trigger. Our flow is done and we're saving it. If you don't like to deal with the processes, you can use another action from the PlumSale Documents connector called Fill in PDF Form. In this case, you need to store your PDF form somewhere. That's why two more actions will appear. The first one after the trigger to pull the form for populating, the second after the filling the form action to save the resulting file somewhere. The action from the PlumSale Documents connector will look almost the same. We use the file content from the previous action as document content and the same JSON object for the template data. Make sure to specify the file extension as PDF. Now let's test the flow. We add a new row with some dummy data to the SharePoint list. Then we check the folder where our resulting document has to be stored and here it is. Our PDF form is filled with the data we added in the SharePoint list. Feel free to send a request to our support or ask a question in our community. All links are in the description.